Francisco Blanche. He is head of global commodity and derivatives research at B of A Securities. Francisco, I mean, I'm not even sure the most bullish of the bullish in commodities could have predicted this kind of run. We just talked about what's behind the equity strength. Is it the same thing behind these commodities? Um, I think there's three three things going on in commodity land. First, uh, you have very strong micro fundamentals because remember, demand is improving uh, as we deploy the vaccines in the U.S. and around the world. Um, but also, we've had a major supply shock across many commodity markets. Uh, for example, uh, mining is not a particularly COVID-friendly activity uh, because, as you can imagine, there's no ventilation uh, a thousand feet below ground. So that's one example. Um, but also in terms of the in terms of the the other two things that are driving this is this enormous monetary and fiscal stimulus that we've uh, put through the economy, not just in the U.S. but also around the world. Remember, we've had twice the stimulus from a fiscal and monetary uh, monetary uh, policy perspective, with how the recession, uh, or maybe in a quarter of the recession, when it comes to ser- when it comes to goods, not not in services but in goods in particular. So demand for goods is very strong. Everyone's buying on Amazon. Everyone's buying. Uh, remotely, even if they're not traveling or spending money in hotels um, and, and entertainment. And then the third element here is it, it links to a dollar theme you were just talking about, is that we are we are buying a lot of stuff, and much of it is being produced in China, which is the world's largest buyer commodities. So Chinese yep. um, current account balances are getting better, and the Chinese currency is strengthening vis-a-vis the dollar, which is allowing for more purchasing power. So you have those three things going on simultaneously, a better Chinese economy, a massive yeah. monetary and fiscal stimulus, and the better micro fundamentals. I mean, I would even say that, and we've got a segment, by the way, coming up later on this show about a container shortage because the Chinese economy, Francisco, is not better. It is rocketing. I mean, their surge, and if you look at the export numbers from China to the United States and Europe, they are off the charts. What Ch- China came out of the pandemic Months ago, life is basically 100% back to normal in almost every city. How much has that impacted all these commodities, not just in the United States, but around the world, that surge in demand from the world's second biggest economy? Uh, well, it, it's definitely impacting it every day. We see uh, shipments of oil heading to China, which is why oil broke $60 a barrel. One of the reasons, the other reason being OPEC plus agreeing to extend those output curtailments. Uh, for another quarter, and then Saudi Arabia adding an additional voluntary cut on their end. Uh, but we've had a, an enormous amount of oil heading to China, enormous amount of, uh, of liquid gas, which is why natural gas prices in the Asian markets uh, hit $195 a barrel equivalent in the spot market, right? Again, $195 a barrel of oil for some of this gas. Um, wow. And, uh, and we've had, we've had uh, uh, similar reactions in, in the copper markets, nickel market, yeah. iron ore market. And to your very, very here, Francisco, sorry to jump in. Sorry to jump in. Running out of time. Before I let you go, any commodity you and your team are recommending, fist pounding the table on right now that it still has upside? Uh, we still we think platinum uh, and to some extent silver are going to be commodities that we'll focus a lot on. Uh, platinum we like it a lot because it's got it's got a lot of catch up to do with with gold. We don't mm-hmm. like gold so much here because we think uh, we think the the rising interest rate environment is not going to help gold. But we do think that the hydrogen economy yep. and, and, and the, the, the transition to, to uh, clean energy is going to help platinum, okay. also copper, and, and the metals. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.